Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Legacy. This will be part four? Four of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we fought the, uh, the giant skull thing that is the boss of the forest area, and he kicked our ass. But now, we have our, our Hokage, uh, Lady Vera, who can... Okay, who has IBS. Actually, what did she have? Let's, let's, uh, double check just to be sure. So she has... Uh, IBS and hypergonadism. So we knock people back real far, and she, uh, and sometimes she farts. Now she won't do it. There we go. Uh, so she has two spells. She has this thing, which turns her into that, and I've forgotten this again. What was the, uh, was a spell button? Cast spell, W. Of course it is. She can, like, make a duplicate of herself, I believe it is. She can also fly. She's just really great. Oh, no, right. She's got, like, blink. She can, like, blink back. Uh, bounty rune is pretty good. Uh, we can't actually afford anything here, though, because we're so poor. What about weapons? Still can't complete our, like, full, full set thing. Okay, well, we have 300 bucks that we can't spend, so let's just get in there. Into the castle once again. So once again, we're going to try to go for, like, money. We just want to keep upgrading until we can just murder everything, basically. Which is a good thing about Rogue Legacy 1, and which will probably be the case in Rogue Legacy 2 eventually, but you can just kind of, like... Just kind of like get in there and get everything. Defeat all enemies. I can't do that. Dead. Bonk. Yeah, so I don't have a. I don't have an ability to actually kill enemies like that. Maybe I'll get a different spell later. Oop. And bonk. So it is worth noting we do have a balance rune, which I believe gives you just a little bit of healing. So it gives you one MP and one HP for everything you kill. Very, very cool. Bonk. Bonk. Boom. We are really taking them apart. Just hold that thought for one second. This is like ultra loud. There we go. Oh my god. Oops. I, I stuffed that one up. Ow. Okay. That was probably not worth using all of our life. Just to get nothing there. Ooh. Especially when we got that in front of us. Oh god. Nice try. Oh god, he nearly got us. Chonk. Nope. Not worth it. Neither is that. <laughs> actually, maybe that one is. Okay, this one's... Actually is pretty bad. No, that's definitely not worth it. What about this one? Chop, chop. Ah, oh, I went too many steps. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. Well, it's a good welcome, welcome back. Uh, endomorph. Paladins are pretty good. We might actually take Sir Hornsby. Sir Hornsby. So we have what five hundred. So we could get another piece of equipment, which is maybe what we want. I think it is. I think we want a cape. I think we want this. Oh, except I can't actually carry it. Well, that makes it a bit less useful. Uh, unequip, equip. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, because the squire stuff is so, so light. Ah, shit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We spent like all our money and now we get to go in. We have the shield. 
which should hopefully help us survive quite a bit. Nice try. I saw that one move. I should should have twigged onto that. That's a fake. That's a, a doom vast, whatever it's called. Easy. We are getting little heals off all the enemies, though, which is pretty good. Alright, kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that one. God, is there anything in this room that isn't an enemy? Yep. Whee! Yeah, joke's on you. I don't have to uh, play your game if I can just fly across. Oh, that was close. Money, money, money. All the money. That's all we want. Just more money. We've almost made as much as we did in the last run. And we're like three rooms in, so that's a good sign. Chop, chop, chop. Hup. Just run back and forth across the spikes. That's all you gotta do. Just on the spikes, you just don't stop moving. Oop. Okay, I, I did a bit of a false start there. That's what cost me that one. Chop. Ooh, yes please. There we go. We've already made more than our last run. And we haven't put in half as much effort or life. Okay, so this be sending us to the tower? Yes. I don't want to go to the tower just yet, so this is probably the tower as well. Yeah, it is. Also, there's absolutely a mimic there. Aha! Nice try. Come and get me. Next. Gotcha. Unfortunately, we can't actually get in there. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um... Probably best just teleport back to the start, right? Just go loop. And here we are. So we know where the tower is. Now we just want to find out where the forest is. Whoop. Wow, spikes just do so much damage compared to like everything else. Right, so if we do this very carefully... Oh, actually, we don't do anything carefully. We can just open it. Chop. Chop. Eh. 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 Dead. There we go. I think that's everything. Nice. Those rooms are great for making money. Ooh, and this would be something special. A Squire Cape. Excellent. So we can get the full Squire set. Which will at least give us a bit more protection and hopefully reduce our damage by a fair bit. Whee. Uh, yeah, we're going to go this way. Eh. Made it. Easy. Those guys are always best if you just jump on top of them. Actually, what's up here? Oh, we're still going, are we? Haha! <laughs> nice try, Boris. We have the Giga Block. Oh. Cool. I don't think it's actually that useful considering how much life we just lost to get it, but sure. Better than a kick in the pants. Ooh, Night Helm. Very good. There we 
go. So actually, we're handling this on pretty tidily. Nice try. You're dead now. And so are you. Get out of here with your bullet hell rubbish. It's a good try, but pray not. Chop. And mine. Thank you, food. Okay, so we're going to have to go back down and go through that horrible room of horrors. The super spike room. Which I'm not a big fan of these, like, at all. Yeah, he's going to be behind us now. I guess we could do, like, two at a time. We don't really need to do one. Get out of here. And... Wow, that's that painting is not very convincing. You are not very convincing, sir. You aren't even on the wall. Got to at least try. Just like that one, that's also not very convincing. You know, at least pretend to be a painting. Don't sit there on top of another painting. Or on a bookshelf. You're not tricking anybody with that. I feel bad for you. Nice. Another big pile of money. So we're probably going to actually explore almost all of the castle on this run. Which is always good for making that bunce. Come on. There we go. Alright, so this needs to go... Oop. Boom. Blood chest, very good. Nearly got hit by that one because I forgot where it was. Okay, so this has nearly got to be the forest, right? Oh god, it's still going. Okay, so there we go. That's the forest. Excellent. So what's down here? Oh, also the forest. Cool. Yeah, so the dog's are really easy, providing you can kill them in one hit. If you can't kill them in one hit, they're a bit more of a pain in the ass. Oh, okay. I thought there might have been spikes at the bottom or something. Oh, and this will be the connection to the underground, the dungeon. Which it is. Uh, let's go back to here. If we are going to try and make money, we might as well make all the money, right? I might as well go over here and just explore everything underneath. Maybe we'll find another clown game? Oh god, like the world's slowest... world's slowest flame trap. That's going to be a pain when we need to go back up. Take no damage. Right. Intense focus. Boom. Piece of cake. Great, we got a curse rune. That's like the worst thing we could have gotten. Hup. And hup. And hup. And hup. And go on. We got one fairy chest. We couldn't get the other crazy one. Just keep chopping. That, that's the answer a lot of the time. Just chop and chop and chop. Oh, we don't have the... What do we do here? Nah, we, we don't have a way to get that one. I don't think. We don't have dash, do we? No. Okay. Yep, like this is not terribly difficult. Just steadily writhe our way through it. Wiggle our way through. Oh, another journal entry. What do we got? Journal entry number six. I've never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them, it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. Uh, fair enough. 
probably should have seen that one coming. It was clearly just a, a gun pointed at me. Okay, so we have explored all of the castle. Uh, we might just go back to the start. It's going to be just as quick. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Off to the forest. So we may even have what we need to... Like, just go for a... Just go for an actual fight. Like, we may be able to fight the boss here. I don't think it's beyond the realm of possibility. Okay, unless I keep giving away health on, like, everything. Ooh, cheeky little shot there. Yeah? How'd that go for you? Oh, shouldn't have doubled back. Never mind, I don't think we will have the, uh... I don't think we're gonna have the HP for a boss battle. I wish it was like Rogue Legacy 2, where you get all your health back at the start of the battle. That is actually quite a good idea. I'm super into that. Because it was one of the most annoying things about this one, right? Is you had to sort of manage your health and not get hit. Especially for the later ones. You know, the forest and the actual castle, they're really easy because they're usually pretty close. Oh, wow, really? But obviously for, like, the dungeon and the tower, you have to travel quite a ways before you can actually fight. But I suppose the idea is at that point you'll be strong enough to just walk through it. Okay, we're not going to fight that battle because there really is no way we can. We're going to just try to get more gold, try to make some more progress. See how we go. Oh, wow, I dodged that one by complete accident. Oop. Oh my god, horse, please die. Thank you. There we go. Stupid headless horses. Get out of here. Okay, yep, yep. Good lord. That was almost bad. Uh, it's fine, I got it. Nope. No more hits. I'm nearly out of health. I can't afford any more hits. There we go. Oh, wow, he paid out. He paid out seriously. Jesus. Nice. So we got 4,000. That's pretty... Pretty substantial. Definitely got some good upgrades with this one. Eventually, we will hit the point where if we want to make money, we're going to have to take, like, curse runes or the bounty runes. Oh, God, I don't want to go that way. Those things will hit me way too much. Whereas at the moment, you know, we can kind of afford it. We just kind of fight our way through. Okay, I'm just going to keep running. Shit. I too much swinging. I should have uh, chilled out on the swinging and just actually looked at what was coming. Bummer. Bummer. Okay, though, we did make a ton of money. So how are we doing here? Uh, gay and far-sighted. Hypergonism clumsy. It's probably fine. Lady Doobie. Okay, what do we want here? Improve your looting skills. Maybe. It is pretty expensive, though. Maybe we just want to get a few more... Cheapy boys. We'll get the Lich. Every kill grants Lich permanent health to a cat, making them truly dangerous beings. Yeah. Yeah, Liches are pretty fun. Uh, armor up. Maybe that's worth it. We just get, like, a couple of levels of that. I don't really care about the down strike. It's not super strong. Oh, the spell thief. Cool. Uh, spell thief drains mana from the enemies they hit. This grants them access to an infinite supply of mana in the heat of battle. Rock on. Cool. Ride the vortex of magic and turn your spell thieves into spell swords. Press A to cast empowered spells. Very, very cool. But for the moment, we've just got good old... Good old barbarian. 
Good old barbarian queen, Lady Doobie. So, do we want to try and rush to the forest and fight the boss? I think we could possibly do it. I uh, would obviously prefer... Obviously prefer, like, a paladin. Ugh, not that way. <laughs> okay, well, fuck me then, I guess. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. Okay, well, that was a big chunk of our health. Well, trapped ourselves in a corner with that one. Oh, now I have to do this again. And done. Oh, thank God. Alright, well, it's back to the left, then. Okay, that's bad as well. So that's it. You know, when you play this one, you really need to just... Decide how much... Okay, well... Like, decide how much risk you're gonna take. Where, if you're just rushing to a boss, there's no point taking a lot of risk for money it doesn't really help you in the long run. You need to keep as much health as possible, rather than taking health damage to save you know, things and get more money. The only exception is usually fairy chests. They are almost always worth it. Okay, I saw that one coming. Should have been careful of that. Nice, we got a new soundtrack. Ooh, that hypergonadism. Really just knocks them around. Okay, we found this boss. Not actually very useful. Down? Okay, we, we want to go to the right. I need to stop going left. Ooh, that was a cheeky throw. Oop, hello. Hypergonadism works to really counter those ghost things, the, the, like, ghastly heads. Oop, don't be there. Nope, get out of here. Oh, why am I so, I'm so heavy that I'm just breaking? Oh, wait, hang on, we're clumsy, aren't we? So it's just like, anything I touch, I break. It means that those rooms where we, yeah, it means those rooms where we, um, those rooms where we have to, like, jump on the barrels to get to the top are basically impossible. Okay, A, that was a scary room, and B, it is also a dead end, so no thanks. We'll just go back this way. Appreciate the sentiment, but, uh, I'll just go down here. Oh my god. How did I make the hat? Oh, I nearly got back. I just jumped a second too early. That cost me everything there. Well, not quite. I still got the fairy chest. But it does make it harder for me to... Oh, come on. Oh my... Okay, throw it again. Come on. Thank you. What the hell was that? Just, just get hit three times by the same guy. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, you can't get me from there. Nice. Oop. Hypergonadism counters you pretty easily. Chop. And cool. What do we got? Ooh, all that HP. Oh yeah, that's right, the fountain things. God, we gotta almost be in the forest, surely. Come on. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I can't stand on that stuff. 
There we go. Okay, so that's the forest. Thank the lord. Wow, and this is the tower? Wow. Nice. Just both of them right there. Uh... Don't get hit by the eye goo. God, I'm, I'm panicking really hard and I shouldn't be. I should just be taking it slow. Oh god. Keep an eye on what's around so I can fight it. Nope. Just like that. Trying to remember what each one is and how I need to attack it to get rid of it. Nope. Oh, come on. God, eyeballs combined with the green things is actually like the worst combo. Wow, so actually hypergonadism counters these guys pretty good as well, because you knock them back as far as you get knocked back. Nope. God, it's like playing a game of hot foot. Here we go. Just gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Here we go. Whew, that'd get you if you weren't expecting it. Okay, good. Oop. Nearly got dinked by that one. Oh, come on. The biggest problem is obviously when things attack you from off screen that you don't know are there. Like, that you just barely see them, so they activate and attack you. Like the green mages. Like, they're not too bad, but... If you don't know they're there because they've activated and you don't know, then you'll be dodging something else and that's how you get caught. And you know, the, the eyeballs are similar. They're not actually that threatening on their own, but if you just activate them on, on the wrong side, and then suddenly you've got, you know, the red eye juice flying at you from every direction. Oh. Okay, we're in the tower now. Can't defeat all enemies. Uh, I can probably actually... Oh, no, I can't do it because I don't have enough mana. I mean, if I get more mana, though, I can definitely do that. Nope. <laughs> That's a trap. Yeah, nice try. Was ready for you that time. Thank you. Millions of monies. Nope, stay undercover. God, that just knocks him back so far. Really takes him out of contention. Bonk. 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 And dead. So there's nothing up there. That could have been bad. Nice try. Old headless pony doesn't get knocked back at all. Oh god. Nice, bit of money. We do also have some more mana now, so maybe we could go after that fairy chest. Maybe. Oh, there's the boss. And there's some more mana and all the goodies. Now, I don't really know what the good strategy is for this boss. Oh, sure. I got Hedgehog's Curse. Don't actually know what that does. Something to do with Sonic the Hedgehog, I presume. Okay, so we can now just do that. No, oh, okay, still not enough. All right, let's just go after this boss. And we'll just hopefully... I'll go this... Okay, no. Not worth it. Let's just go. We'll go to the after the boss. It'll be fine. We have a pretty big knockback, so that might actually help us with the skulls. The little ones. Wow. Oh my god, I lose all my money when I get hit. Oh my god. That's actually made this awful. No kidding, the Hedgehog's Curse, gotcha. 
That really sucks ass. Because chance of me dying here are basically, like, guaranteed. So, unless I take lots of big hits... Oop. There it is. Oh, God. That's not assistance. That's not assistance at all. That's awful. Where's the assistance on that one? Get away from me. Oh, God. I can't because I'm out of mana. Oh, my God. Oh, my coins. No. Okay. I just need to gather all my coins as I get hit. There, that's fine. That's fine. Kill me. Kill me with, like, at least a thousand coins. Oh, my God. Oh, that was... That was awful. Okay, actually, that's... That's pretty good. A thousand and thirty-five. I had so much. Maybe we just increase our damage. Like, in the grand scheme of things, isn't that just what we need? Just more damage? Because if we kill things faster, we don't really need to worry about HP. God, I don't know. But anyway, guys, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video to with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.